Yo, what's up? It's your life coach and mentor, Jonathan Belcher here. I am rich. I am financially free. I am financially prosperous. Money flows to me effortlessly and abundantly from providing great service. I am wealthy. I am healthy. I am loved. They love you. Then they hate you. Then they love you again, y'all. That's how people are. That's how people are. They hate you when you down, and then they love you when you up. That's how people are, and it's only getting worse in this day and age because as resources become more and more scarce, people are going to move with more and more of a cutthroat av attitude during these times. So you're going to have to watch out for that. Not everybody is who they paint themselves out to be. Not everybody is mean what they say. So you got to watch people's actions. You got to watch how people move, especially when certain things are changing with your personal situation. Because that's going to tell you everything that you need to know. But they hate you, then they love you, and then they hate you again. They love you, then they hate you, then they love you again. Sorry. we going. They always love you again. Once you get things back in order and you get things back right in your life, people start loving you again. But my question is, is it real? Is it genuine? Hmm. Something to think about. 300 to freedom, baby. 300 to freedom. They don't like when I talk like this. But it's the facts. If you observe what's going on around you, you're going to see that even the people closest to you, they might switch up on you. They might switch up on you like night and day. They might switch up on you so bad, it makes you question if you ever knew who the person was. Another example where you can see this is a lot of people you can see today. A lot of people are, this is what I see. A lot of people who, for example, with the presidency, a lot of people who hated and despised Trump, now that Biden is in, a lot of them I see saying they wish they would have voted for Trump. And I wonder why. I wonder why. You see, when emotions, when we let our emotions override our logic, it's so easy to make poor decisions, but we are naturally emotional beings. So there has to be some kind of balance where we could see what's best for us, despite things not being the greatest time right now for you. So things may not be going the greatest for you right now, but keep striving, keep working, stay consistent, do what you gotta do, wake up every single day, go hard at your dreams, don't look to the left, don't look to the right, don't let people distract you because most people don't even know what they want out of life. And while you there, focus on your dream, they gonna be laughing at you on the low when you're down. They gonna be talking negative about you when you're down. When the money ain't coming in the way they expect, they're going to be talking about you behind your back. You know what I'm saying? So understand people switch up sometimes and it ain't your fault. It ain't nothing that you did wrong. You might have went through a little tough time. You might have went through a little rough patch, but they don't know that everything's about to come full circle. They don't know that everything you've been dreaming of and everything, your whole vision is about to come to reality. Your whole vision is about to come to fruition. And guess what? When your vision comes to fruition, all them same people who went from loving you, loving you to hating you, they're going to come back and try to love you again. But when you got people in your corner, when you're down and you're going through your toughest times, and you're quiet, those people who can hear you, those are the real people. Those people who are there for you when you're down, they were there for you before you came up, those are the real people. Those are the people you want to rock with. Those are the people you want to build with. Those are the people you want around you. If you got 10 fake people around you, guess what? Get rid of all, 10, all, get rid of, all of them. Get rid of every last one of them fake people. Do it now. Don't even wait till down the line don't wait till a couple months pass don't wait until they change don't do it get them out of your life because what's going to happen is when you're in your most vulnerable state when you're at your lowest point that's when the snake attacks you they're going to kick you when you're down and what a lot of people are going to do is they fake believe in you so what they're going to do is they're going to do wrong and slide things to you. You probably found out, found this in your life. People do wrong and slide things to you when they don't feel like you're at, you're at where you're supposed to be at. Or they don't feel like you're driving a, a brand new car or something. Or they don't feel like, you know, you, you got your own house yet. So what they'll do is, they know that there is a possibility you're going to be successful. But at the same time, they don't really believe in it. So they're going to basically diss you 
but try to keep the door open. Try to keep some relations with you. Try to talk nice with you, even though their actions is telling you a whole different story. Where they do that at? Where they do that at? Here's it to freedom, baby. So you'll find they're going to keep the door open with their relationship with you just in case you win. Just in case you get rich. Just in case you break through. Just in case you level up. So that they could be able to be a part of the success. So they could be a part of the prize. So they could be a part of your level up. But you know they ain't really real. You know they ain't really who they say they are. It's like wolf in sheep clothing. That's what it is. You got a lot of wolves in sheep clothing. They acting like one thing. But they love you. Then they hate you. And they love you again, y'all. They ain't really who they say they are. And the moment when they showed you your true colors. You were in your most vulnerable state. You were in... Your most vulnerable state when they decided to switch up on you. Go figure. What are the chances of that? What are the chances of you doing good and them always around you wanting to be around you when you're doing good? They always want to be in your presence when you're doing good. They always want to be coming to your house when you're doing good. They want to lay up with you when you're doing good. They want to talk with you when you're doing good. They want to hang out with you when you're doing good. But the minute when things start to get a little rocky, the minute when things... When they don't really know, where, where they feel like they don't know where things are headed with you, that's when they switch up and they start changing up on you. They start seeking new people to hang out with and they start putting you on the back burner like you ain't worth nothing. But I ain't, that ain't real, y'all. That ain't what you need in your life. Those ain't the type of people you need in your circle because I'm telling you right now, when things get big, those are going to be the same fucking people that's going to sink your ship. Those are going to be the same people that's going to Knock holes in your ship so that the whole ship can sink. So you got to keep them off the ship. And most people, you got to be real, they, when operating on survival, if you operating on love, it ain't going to work out. Because you was there when they was down. You was there when they was going through a tough time. You was there when they was questioning their friend group. You were there. You were there for them, for their low times, for their high times. You sat, you listened to their stories. You was there the whole time. But guess what? The minute things change with you, the minute they don't feel like you're making the money you're supposed to be making, the minute they feel like you don't, you're not wearing the clothes you're supposed to be wear, wearing, the minute they feel like you ain't looking as good as you used to look because you're going through a little issue right now, they're going to change up on you and show you a whole different side to them, y'all. Drop a comment below. Let me know if you feel what I'm talking about. Let me know if you've ever experienced this where... You've had relationships with people, you really love them and you really, you enjoy them, but you realize that they change up in certain situations. You realize that they change up when certain things are going in your life, when certain things are going on in your life. Let me know, drop a comment below because I understand your pain, y'all. I feel you on that. 300 to freedom, we ain't gonna hold back. We ain't gonna hold back the information. I'm just telling it like it is and, and what I see going on out here, you know, when I look at the world, but... There's a select few people, there's always a select few people in your life who really want to see you win. Even when they may not have the means to help or the resources to really help or invest in you, they really want to see you win. But those who switch up on you when it's most convenient to switch up on you, you got to watch those people with a side eye. You have to. And that's just what it is, y'all. That And in these times, it's only going to get worse. It ain't going to get better because resources are limited. So... People are moving with this dog-eat-dog dog mentality. You know what I'm saying? People are moving with this dog-eat-dog dog mentality where it's like, oh, I, I'm a, I'm a, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to step on his toes to get where I got to get. You know, I'm going to push this girl down. I'm going to push this woman down so I could be on top. I'm going to lie on this person so that I could mess up their thing so it could make me look better. That's what people is doing now. And they love you. Then they hate you. Then they love you again. But guess what? When they love you again, you got to question the love. You got to question where is it really coming from? Do they love you because they genuinely love you for you? Or do they love you because they see where you're headed and they see things getting better in your life? Which one is it? Which one is it, y'all? Drop a, Give me a thumbs up if you're feeling this video so far. I'm telling you right now, you're going to see this happening in your life. And it's going to be the people you least expect. But you're going to have to find ways to build the courage to get over it. You are powerful. You are a king. You are a queen. Well, you're a queen if you're a woman, a king if you're a man, right? But my point is, don't be down on yourself. Don't be low-spirited because of the way people might treat you because you're going through a tough time. Don't be 
negative and not seeing your capabilities just because the people around you don't believe in you. They don't know what the future holds. In one year, your whole entire life can change. Just one year. Just one year, your whole entire life could look totally different. In just one year, your whole entire life could look totally different. Just three years and 65 days. Your whole life, you could go from being on the street. You could go from being homeless in a car to being in a mansion somewhere. You could go from being homeless in a car to being Hollywood's greatest actor. You can go from being homeless in a car or, or, or homeless anywhere to being the greatest rapper, greatest singer that the world has ever seen. But people lack foresight. All people see with you is what's going, going on now in your life. And based on what's going on now in your life, they're reacting to you different. They're treating you different. They're respecting you different. They talk to you different based on how they feel where you're at. I'm telling you, y'all. I'm telling you. This is just what it is. This is, this, is, this is what it is out here. And when people see you moving up and leveling up and you focus and you ain't really worried about hanging out with them every day, guess what? That's when they're going to want to hang out with you. That's when they're going to want to call. Oh, I wonder what he doing. They're going to want to have small talk with you. Hey, bro, uh, where you at, bro? Uh, I just wonder if, if you just want to hang out. Nigga, don't you see I'm on the ground right now? Don't you, don't you see we got things to do? Got no time to be wasting time talking to you about nonsense. Time is ticking. We on a time. It, the time is ticking right now. I don't got no time to be BSing with you around, BSing with you and stuff like that. Come on, where they do that at? Turns it to freedom, baby. I'm telling y'all, it, it, it's just what it is. It's like, but then you got those real genuine hearted people who they really gonna be there for you. And those are the people you wanna keep in your circle when it's dark times. You know, when, when they there for you, and, 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 and it, sometimes it's family, sometimes it's not family. Sometimes it's a whole stranger that can show you more love than your family and friends. That's a possibility. But I just want to be real with you on this, y'all. I'm going to see you in the next video. Make sure to drop a comment below. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button so you can be notified immediately whenever I make videos like this. And I would appreciate if you shared this video with five friends or family because this is something that's been on my heart. The last few days, and I just had to express it with y'all because I be looking around at the world and I'm like, yo, what's going on out here? Like, something must be changing with the planets. It must, must be in retrograde or some shit. I mean, planets must be orbiting a certain way right now or something because people be switching up. People be switching up. They be switching up. That's what people be doing. They be switching up. So you got to peep the switch up. You got to peep the switch up and you got to love on yourself. You know what I mean? You got to kiss yourself. You got to love on yourself. You got to hug yourself. You got to hug yourself. Hug yourself. As you got to do, hug yourself and love on yourself. You know what I'm trying to say? Because at the end of the day, you're going to forever be with you. You're going to forever be in your skin. So why not believe in yourself now? Forget those haters. Forget the people who they loved you, then they hate you. Now they want to love you again. Because it ain't really genuine, y'all. I'm going to see you in the next video. Peace.